All right, guys. So a uh, quick video here on the Foxeer Digisite uh, camera for analog and also for shark bite. You can see it's got the analog connections here and also the connection for shark bite. It's about six grams, about a, about a gram more than the run cam camera that comes with the shark bite uh, VTX. This is the system that I originally did the run cam uh, video on, and I've already released um, daytime and low light footage for this uh, several weeks back. I'll link those uh, two videos down in the description in case you missed those. You can see what the digital side of this camera looks like in terms of the picture quality. Now Foxier has since notified me that they're now sending the cameras out with a lower sharpness setting. I think it's going from like 130 to 70, so approximately half of what it was before. However, I'm not able to show you that um, footage because I was sent this camera originally in the, the higher setting, which they have since changed, but now my camera doesn't work anymore. And in the last few weeks here during the holidays and everything, I've been kind of playing with this on and off. I've been trying to get the analog side of this to work to show you what the analog side looks like, but um, have not been able to get to switch over. So according to the instructions, which I didn't have originally, but they told me after the fact, is you just connect up the um, OSD joystick that's included Right here, you power it up, wait 20 seconds, and then you hold the um, uh, the left button down here for five seconds, and it'll it'll switch to analog mode because it's um, unlike the uh, Cadex uh, Nebula Micro that has digital and analog, uh, you can go back and forth uh, pretty easily. This one you have to actually do that uh, power button switch to switch it from analog to digital, and it defaults to digital. So I originally flew it in the digital mode thinking that I would, okay, I'll, I'll just test the analog mode out later. And then when I got around to doing that, I wasn't able to get it to uh, turn on the analog mode, analog mode at all. So you, when you plug it in here on the analog side to a you know, any sort of a video outsource, VTX, whatever, uh, you just get a black screen. And I did try the uh, method to try and switch it over uh, using the left button here. Actually, I tried all the buttons, all kinds of different combinations but uh, it wouldn't switch over to analog mode. So my elite, I think my camera's just not, doesn't work anymore. Um, I don't think it's an analog or digital thing. It's just, I think my camera's dead. And I also think I, while I was messing around with uh, getting this to switch over to analog mode, um, I had this still plugged into the VTX on the SharkBite system here, which is the, uh, the SharkBite VTX. And I think I had the, had this powered on too long while I was messing around with that, um, I, 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 don't, I don't think it was for like terribly long. I think it was just sitting on here on the bench here for possibly five, six minutes. Um, and I think uh, that was enough time for just sitting here, uh, just being turned on and not flying around. Where now I think I've actually burned out this uh, video transmitter. So um, something that you should probably be aware of. Um, don't just have it sit on a bench or sit around and power it up powered up for too long, you should you know, power it up and go and fly it, and don't leave the battery plugged in, and I think that's the mistake I made, because now um, I can't get this camera or the Runcan camera to work on the SharkBite VTX at all, so I think I killed the VTX while messing around with this camera, trying to switch it over to analog, which it wouldn't do, and so now this camera doesn't work on digital or analog here, obviously, I don't know if uh, the digital side is totally dead, I have a the whoop size um, VTX, from a shark bite or fat shark. Uh, I had that on order, but it's on pre-order and it's been delayed. And I don't know when I'm going to be getting that. Probably not till February. So this is probably my last uh, shark bite video for a while because uh, I can't get uh, either the run cam camera or the fox Air camera to work. So that, yeah, we'll have to see um, once I get the other VTX if I can get either the cameras to work again. But yeah, unfortunately, I can't show you the analog side of this camera. Uh, but I was told that it's the same sensor and lens as the uh, Predator Nano 5, which I believe I showed you a video of that uh, a while back, maybe like a month ago. So if you want to see what the video quality of that looks like, check out that video. I'll link that down below along with the two um, digital flights. Of course, it is at the higher sharpness setting. Now, something to be aware of is when you're looking, looking at the image in the goggles, it's um, not as um, pixelated or as doesn't the sharpness effects aren't as noticeable in the goggles on a 720p screen versus 
um, on the DVR. So while the um, when you look at the DVR from the run cam versus the Fox here, I think the major difference is is that the short I'm sorry, the Foxy camera is a little bit on, uh, the sharpness is a little bit high. So if you lower the sharpness, you'll be able to compensate for that. But also the colors are a little bit better on the Foxy versus the run cam. Of course, I think something might be up with the lens or something on my run cam. So I, I do have another run cam coming as well. So I'll hopefully test that out later. But yeah, that's going to be it for um, this video and shark bite in general. Uh, I'm not going to be spending any more money on the shark bite system until the next uh, the next VTX I get comes in and then we'll see um, if I can get this camera to work or maybe I'll get another camera from Fox here and see if I can get the analog side to work but I, I mean honestly how interested are you in seeing that if it is pretty similar to the Predator 5 I mean do you really want me to go through the trouble of showing you the analog image of this let me know down in the comments below if you even care or not because um, I mean for me it's just like the most important thing on this camera is the digital side and what that looks like. So anyway, let me know down in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.